Today we're going to be talking about how to use a number line to help us find equivalent fractions. This goes along with the Lesson 11 homework in Module 5. Number 1 says label each number line with the fraction shown on the tape diagram. Circle the fraction that labels the point on the number line that also names the selected part of the diagram. So if we chunk this direction to better understand it, label each number line with the fraction shown on the tape diagram. So the tape diagram shows one fourth. So now I have to label the number line. So I know I'm working in fourths. So this first one is zero fourths. Halfway would be two fourths. And at the end to represent one whole would be four fourths. And now I have to fill in the middle. I'm going to put my pencil right on this line from the tape diagram and go straight down and that's where I'm going to draw my line for one fourth and the same thing over here go straight down for three fourths. The next part of the direction circle the fraction that labels the point on the number line that also names the selected part of the tape diagram. Well the selected part of the tape diagram we said was one fourth so I'm going to circle one fourth. B is the same um, concept. We have two eighths being shown. So when I number my label the number line, I have zero eighths, four eighths is in the middle, eight eighths makes one whole, and I'm going to fill in the other fractions one eighth, two eighths, three eighths. And in class, we talked about it's really just like counting, and we made that connection that counting by whole numbers and counting by fractions are very similar. And when we go to circle the fraction that labels the point on the number line that's also the point on the tape diagram, we're going to circle two eighths. So using these two, um, these A and B, we're going to answer number two. It says write a number sentence using multiplication to show the fraction represented in 1A is equivalent to the fraction represented in 1B. And we have to use multiplication, so we set up our number sentence, and I'm going to put in everything I know. 1 fourth equals 1 fourth multiplied by something is going to equal 2 eighths. And knowing my multiplication, 1 times 2 is 2, and what you do on the top, you have to do on the bottom. And I know that's right, because 4 times 2 is 8. If we go down, um, this part was the, um, a section that was a little tricky during class. Um, it says partition a number line from 0 to 1 into fifths. So again, chunking it, I need to partition a number line going from 0 to 1, and then I need to go in fifths. And then when I label it, you know, this doesn't give me a whole lot of room. We have one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, and five fifths would be our one whole at the end. They wanted the next part decompose four fifths into four equal lengths. And actually, it's supposed to say two fifths. So if I break down two fifths into four equal lengths, right now I have two equal lengths between zero and two fifths. I have two spots, and I'm going to draw a dotted line so that now I have four. I have one, two, three, four equal lengths between zero and two fifths. Um, for B, they want us to write a number sentence using multiplication to show that what fractions represented on the number line is equivalent to two-fifths. It's the same thing that we did up here. So we're going to write our um, multiplication sentence. So I'm going to format it and just fill in the numbers. I know um, I'm finding a multi uh, fraction that is going to be equivalent to two-fifths using multiplication and find what's left. So I'm going to fill in two-fifths times something is going to be our equivalent fraction and I can pick any number I want. Um, to stay easy, I'm going to multiply it by two. 
and just multiply across. Two times two equals four, and five times two equals 10. So my equivalent fraction is four tenths. Finally, it wants us to do the same thing, um, but using division. So I'm gonna set up my number sentence and fill in the blank. We're using division to show that the fraction represented on the number line is equivalent to two fifths. So two fifths needs to be our answer. It needs to be at the end of the number sentence. And we're using division, so I can fill that in. And we talked about that go, using division, I don't have any other information to fill in the rest of my number sentence. So I am going to work backwards using multiplication. And what I mean by that is two times, and we can pick any number just like we did in B, right up here, and we can do um, times three. So two times three equals six, and what you do on the top, you have to do on the bottom. So five times three equals 15, and so two-fifths is equivalent to six-fifteenths. Okay, this last one is going to be the tricky one, um, but if we remember to go backwards using multiplication, um, you know, we can pick any number to multiply by, and then when we multiply across, it'll get us our new equivalent fraction. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to message me on Remind.